I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, TT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Still with the dogs that I grew beside All the niggas around me Yes Yes I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, TT Two-turn, baby girl Call the shorty off a fan and start Drippin' on a hoodie, it's a great shot Way that I've been living, I've been finishing up I'm just tryna make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun and finish up I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal Inside a crib on my own Soon as I freak up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me, right at the dark Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Outside in a Hi, can I just have a grande um, ice matcha latte? Absolutely, grande ice matcha latte. Anything else I can get for you? Yes, okay, perfect. mention this drink and I'm like you know what I do want to stop at Starbucks because I'm not that hungry y'all I haven't been eating right right now like I'm I'm not eating right right now y'all my mind went blank for a second but what was I saying that I am excited to try this drink and I why don't I hate when they give me a long straw for the grande drinks but um yeah, I just decided to get a drink. One, because I haven't been doing well with eating right now. I'm gonna talk to y'all about that later. And um, my stomach is hurting so bad this morning. I do have Gurdon IBS, so that could be, I could just be having like an IBS flare up or something like that. But yeah, my stomach is not doing nice. I feel like I'm super gassy and stuff, so I probably won't even eat until later on tonight. But um, yeah, I'm just heading to work. I don't really have time to talk to y'all right now. I have a meeting with my first sergeant in about 30, 40 ish minutes. And so I'm kind of rushing to work for that. And then I am going to go ahead and talk to y'all afterwards. So I will see y'all after this appointment. Hopefully it's not something crazy because I do not know. I don't know. I don't know what this appointment's about. Other people other than me, Everybody else except me driving in Fayetteville. Are you okay? Are you okay? Because <laughs> y'all can't drive. Why are y'all so horrible at driving in this city? It's about to be a fucking green light. Fuck you, they get hit with that pipe. Who did y'all put this on the door? I was on my own still trying to get it up. Just for the school shit. I had to stop at the um, PX real quick. Y'all tell me why. My jams, y'all. I had to stop at the PX real quick. Um, I had to stop at the PX real quick because I need to pick up a freaking perfume. Tell me why I thought so. I bought the small green um Burberry Her, thinking that I had the big pink one. Turns out I have the big pink, the big green one too. So now I have two of the same one, but I really wanted the pink one. <laughs> so I'm here real quick to grab the pink one if they have it. Um I don't even need it, honestly. We all know that. I don't need it, but I really wanted that in my collection. I don't took it off my list and everything because I thought that's what I bought and that wasn't the case. So I'm about to go and grab it real quick and go to my company, which is how far from here? Like five minutes, so I should be on time. Y'all look. 
your girl is no longer Starks, okay? She is Augustine. That girl is married. I am married, okay? I got a husband. Mrs. Augustine? Miss Augustine? Yes, that's me. That's me. And then it's crazy because I done put in a name change request quite a few times and I don't see it being approved yet. There's nothing in the system, Deers, whatever the case may be. Um, so I need to go up to Deers again. But I wasn't going to wait for them to change my damn name in the system. If I ask y'all twice to change my name in the system and y'all don't want to, I guess I'm going to just be walking around with a completely different name on my uniform than y'all see in the system because don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. But let me hurry up and go and get this real quick. Yeah, I do not like the way this PC is fitting my head. It's a new one, so I need it to like. All right, let me. I didn't find it. I didn't find it. But um, maybe next time. But now I'm off to the company. I have about five minutes to get there to be ten minutes early. So, uh, um, I might come back on, depending on how this goes. Cause I really don't know what this meeting is about, y'all. Maybe he's just checking up on me. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. Hey y'all, what's up? I just got out of the meeting with the first sergeant and the commander and honestly it was just to come in so we can take a look at you. I want to lay eyes on you. How you doing? How you been? How you leave going? How you feeling mentally? How's your behavior health appointments and stuff like that going? It was literally just a nice thorough check-in to kind of see um, you know how I'm doing. Oh and I need to go and get a new patch. I'm not in 44th anymore but um it was a thorough check-in to like really see how I'm doing um, and stuff like that. And I thought that was nice that they wanted to do that face-to-face -face because I'm gonna tell you right now, it's been plenty of times where I've been sitting in the same sweatpants for, I don't know, the whole weekend, haven't showered, really ate anything the whole weekend. And as soon as my NCO called like, you doing good or how you been? Or I'll show up, you know, good Monday and they were like, how you doing? And I'm like, oh, good. Yeah, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. You will never know. You will never know. When I put this uniform on, this is a mask. You will never know. Unless I tell you, you will never know the demons that I fight every day. I be fighting for my life every single day. But, um, yeah, I thought that was really nice because, honestly, I've never had a first sergeant nor a commander do that and I mean it could just be something that they do it could just be something that they do here but that that meant something to me for some reason but I thought that was really nice um today I am doing good I have I feel I don't know I have a boost of energy and I kind of want to take advantage of it I'm feeling good today and I want to take advantage of that so I don't know I might go find a Ross because I want to put some plants and stuff in the house um but yeah, that's probably, I might just go and do that because I thought I had an appointment at 11 o'clock with the Sergeant Major today, but that's not until tomorrow. So, um, I did want to talk to y'all a little bit about one of the things that I have been experiencing for the longest time now. This is, um, not something that I am new to, um, but I want to start being a little bit more transparent especially if you guys are on my tiktok and y'all see how vulnerable i be i because i go through a lot and one of the things that i've been going through um so i have an eating disorder and this is honestly the first time i am saying this out loud really on my public platforms like i have an eating disorder i have bulimia i am bulimic and um, I've been dealing with this since 2017. It's, it's a result of something that happened to me because this isn't something that I've ever, 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 ever dealt with before until this event. And then I real I noticed slowly that I was doing something abnormal. Like, cause I feel like this is the kind of, this is a kind of mental issue or I guess mental condition whatever you want to call it I feel like this is one of those things where it's like if this is something that I'm doing I know I'm doing something abnormal and so I didn't say anything for a long time until I got pregnant with Mia and that's when I had to say something because I'm like hey I this I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have food in my in my system if you know 
I'm pregnant and I have to grow a little human child inside of me. So that's kind of where everything started. And I'm gonna be honest, like it wasn't easy at all because it got to the point where I actually almost lost my pregnancy. I was going back and forth to um, the, the, what is it, OB. And I finally went in one day and I'm like, hey, you know, this is something that I've been doing. I've been making myself throw up. And they're like, oh no, throwing up in pregnancy, that's normal. I'm like, no, you don't, <laughs> you're not listening to me. This is, um, I do it on purpose. Like I make myself throw up. And she just couldn't wrap her head around what I was telling her. And so after a few, you know, appointments and trying to convince these people that something is not right, I knew something wasn't right. I just had to convince them that something wasn't right. They finally sent me to behavior, behavior health and it wasn't helpful. It wasn't helpful at all because again, y'all, I know, I know it's hard for people to understand certain type of mental good issues, certain conditions in general, but I feel like when it comes to eating disorders, it's embarrassing. I, I get embarrassed about everything though everything that's wrong with me I get embarrassed about but for me this one specifically was embarrassing because the first person that I was talking to was basically like like I'm a grown woman at this point I'm like 25 years old and um the person that I was talking to was basically like mm, I don't know like bulimia this is usually for like teenager what 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 do you say this is this is like a teen uh, a, a disorder that girls have in their teens in middle and high school when they want attention and I'm just like damn am I being childish like I must be childish as hell to have this eating disorder like this is crazy and then I felt like the treatment wasn't helpful because it was also always surrounded about uh, surrounded around what I looked like like the questions they would be asking me would be like how many times have you thrown up to try to lose weight or how many times have you looked in a mirror and not like what you saw or how many times have you worked out excessively or whatever the case may be dealing with what my body looked like and my issue with that was it was never like I always liked the way my body looked I always liked the way my body looked until I got too small. Like I was I was about 90 something pounds. I was so small, y'all. Like it was so small and I was dying. I was crying out for help and I kept going to these people and it got to the point I started going to the nutritionist and you wanna know what? Nobody took me serious until I started losing my pregnancy basically like I was passing out all over the place Mia was really really small um so I had um into uterine growth restriction because I wasn't getting enough I wasn't getting enough nutrition so obviously she wasn't able to get enough nutrition um my stomach like I was like around the same um gestational age as my friends and my stomach was just so much smaller than theirs and it just wasn't good it just wasn't good and it got to the point where she was so small in there. I want to say she was measuring at about 30, 31 weeks. And I was I was literally at 35 weeks. Like she was so behind. Um, she was so little. And so um, they started basically, basically when they saw that there was an issue, I was to blame. They're like, oh, you need to eat more. You know, there's not a reason you need to. Like if I was able to just eat more, this wouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't have an eating disorder if I was just able to eat more. Like, yeah, that, I didn't I didn't even think of that. And it's crazy because I run into that a lot when it comes to behavior health people. It's like, well, why don't you just do this? If it was that simple, I wouldn't be here. Oh my God, so many. So basically then they started threatening to like lock me up in a hospital and like um, put, um, give me a feeding tube that I would have to wear around. And it's like, you're you're gonna put a feeding tube in my nose and make me walk around, work like that. And I'm like, no. So y'all, when it got to the point, I'm like, all right, I need to eat something. Um, and so I started like making myself eat. If this may, I listen, I understand it don't make sense. It still don't make sense to me why this is something that happens to me. But that was the hardest thing, like putting on weight and keeping on weight for me when I'm in a stage where my eating disorder is unstable, it's so hard, it's so fucking hard. And I don't think people really understand that. So 
when everything was said and done, I was preparing to deliver a very sick baby. And you wanna know what's crazy to me? In the hospital, in the army, I don't know if this is just a military thing because when my sister had this same condition, they delivered her as soon as she was able to be delivered. For me, they had me going to a nutritionist twice a week, the regular OB twice a week, and the nutritionist twice a week. So now I'm looking like a shit bag because I got all these appointments and stuff at work. And then I had to see the doctor once a week. He was basically counseling me every week saying, you know, sometimes babies like yours just die. That I remember verbatim I heard those words come out of his lips. And yeah, I'm just like, why don't the, why don't y'all just take her out? Like if this is the issue, just take her out, you know? And so, no, they didn't. But we're getting ready to deliver a very sick baby. And my baby girl turned out perfectly fine. She was really small. She was like five pounds. She was bigger than Darion though. She was five pounds, eight ounces. Darion was five pounds, four ounces. But she was not sick. She didn't have to be in the NICU, nothing like that. So, you know, she was, everything was good. But that is the damage an eating disorder does you know and then at the end like closer to the end um when i was getting ready to leave fort stewart i had lost so much weight i was at like 92 pounds i had lost so much weight to the point where they tried to chapter me out of the army like just so y'all know you can be chapped out of the army if you are too small i'm just saying so i was losing weight losing weight losing weight and my mentor at the time, my absolute favorite SAR major of all times, he would always be my favorite SAR major because the thing, like he just, he saved my life, okay? SAR major, retired SAR major Barnes now. Um, I remember when I went to him for something and I was in civilian clothes, so obviously I didn't have my big uniform on where I can like cover, you know, my very small frail frame from anybody at this point. And I was saying something and he cut me off mid sentence. I had on a on the tank top as well. He said, Oh, what's wrong with you? You are skinny. Like you're small. And it's crazy because in my head I know it. I'm already self-conscious about what I look like. I know I'm small. I know it. I can see my ribs and everything. He's like, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. No one damn well I'm not. He's like, no, you are way too small. You like what's going on? <sighs> I was back in behavior health immediately, <laughs> thanks to him. But I mean, I'm kind of glad because I really was wasting away, y'all. When I say I was so small to the point, you can see my ribs here, my stomach was caving in, all my ribs you can see here. This here was completely sunken in, like it was so bad. And I say this because nobody takes you serious when you have an eating disorder until they can actually see the effects of the eating disorder. So as of right now, that was something that I was pretty much dealing with. Like when I went to, when I was telling y'all about the behavior health person that I saw recently, um, if y'all follow me on TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. How she goes, oh, but you look fine. You have to be getting some nutrition, right? Because you can't just throw up everything, right? Have you never interacted with a bulimic person? Because we would literally throw up our guts if we have to. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is TMI, but this is a lot of stuff that I've been just waiting to get off my chest anyway. But um, yeah, that's that's the crazy part. So as of right now, I'm in a situation where I am uncontrolled again. I am unstable. I've been, I was in remission from about two, the beginning of 2019 because I went through a heavy 2017, my pregnancy. Then I went on maternity leave, came back. I was just going through a lot, a lot, a lot 2018. So that's when I lost all that weight and almost got chapped it out. 2019 is when I was, I had a really good therapist and I really started working on a lot of stress management and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then I had a really good nutritionist at the time too. So I started um, gaining weight and stuff like that back. After that, 2020, when I went um, to Fort Sam, I ended up getting another really good nutritionist, a really, 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 really good guy. And I was at a healthy way like I felt really good I'm gonna say my recovery started really to the beginning of 2019 so I'm gonna say the beginning of 2019 up until I want to say recently I have been in remission so that was a few years in remission and now I'm just I'm spiraling I'm spiraling and it's crazy because I um 
I've been requesting a few appointments to the nutritionist at this point so I'm gonna have to check into that again but lately I've been looking in the mirror and I'm looking at my frame and I'm like I am losing weight I am getting small and that's not good I just want to be at a healthy weight so I say all that to say if this is something that you are going through I I I beg you to get help I trust me I'm there I know exactly how it feels sometimes they don't listen but you have to be as loud as you can and raise your voice even louder if they're not listening to you because this is not easy so that's why I said I am um, I haven't been eating much in the morning time I'll usually just get like a Starbucks drink or I'll get two um, two hash browns and a small orange juice from McDonald's and that'll kind of last me until dinner and that's kind of how I've been operating, y'all. I have no energy. I am tired. I am exhausted all the time. I am extremely lightheaded. I am extremely dehydrated. And <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. I kind of want to go to the emergency room to see if they can, like, give me some IV fluids. Because even drinking too much fluids, like drinking too much water, if it makes my stomach feel too heavy, I'm going to feel like I want to throw it up. And don't ask me why. It's just how my brain works. It's so crazy. And I just want y'all to understand when it comes to eating disorders, right? It's never always about what somebody looked like because I like my body. I, I liked my body how it was when I had about five, 10 extra pounds on me because since I've been here, I've lost about 10 pounds. So I'm going down fast and I'm trying my hardest to not. So just be cautious of when somebody is talking to you about that is not always about what I look like you know it's just something that my brain does when I eat food and it's so weird it's so weird but that is me opening up to y'all about a very very traumatic horrible debilitating condition that I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis so yeah i'm about to go ahead and go to ross like i said y'all i'm in a really good mood today i am in such a good mood today and when i am in a mood like this i like to take full advantage of it because they don't they don't come that often so i'm about to go to ross and see what they have there for me and i'm gonna see y'all later i just made it back home and um Hold on, I'm trying to get situated. I said it's okay. Anywho, so so I just made it back home just in time to meet up with the movers. So the movers here now. He just said he's waiting on his nephew so they can actually start bringing everything in. But he's currently unloading everything outside right now. So yeah. Just waiting on that i'm kind of irritated though because now that i think about it i'm about to spend like a whole week and a half probably two weeks in clutter if i don't have the energy to put all this stuff away but we'll see how that goes yeah so hopefully this don't take too long I, honestly so the only furniture that i really have is a couch that's it let me see do i have anything else a couch and an ottoman the big tv and the tv stand and then like some um what is it some like shelves and stuff like that like my little shelf that i hang my uniforms and stuff off of so i don't have a lot of stuff so this shouldn't take long at all other than that boxes and that's about it so and usually depending on what it is i don't even want them to unpack anything i just want them to bring the boxes and sit them down and i'll unpack everything myself so yeah this shouldn't take long it is 12:05 right now i'm hoping this is going to be done like around 2 2 30 so I didn't even end up going to Ross. I found this store, this little store inside of like the, what is it? Like the clothing sales. It was like a store in there off to the side that had a bunch of discounted stuff. So I was just shopping around in there and I found a few good things. So I was okay with that. Like I found a trash can, a picture to hang up on the wall. Um, what else? Like a little, I've been looking for a bowl for my, um, for my fruit i have my apples in the fridge right now because i need a bowl for it i found a bowl for that and there was something else that i got oh it was like a little i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all but um yeah the truck's literally right in front of the door so i wasn't able to pull my car into the garage area so i don't want to 
like carry that stuff back and forth so once they're done i'm gonna bring that stuff in here and yeah i'm gonna see y'all in a bit hey y'all what's up y'all can probably already tell but it is later it's a little bit later and I'm still just trying to get my life together, honestly. So in the living room area here, I have my couch and all that stuff. I spend some time scrubbing the couch. I spend some time scrubbing this ottoman because when I say the whole top of this ottoman somehow was filthy, the sides were filthy. It's almost like, like I can still see some dirt on here. You know what? I'm going to have to take these off and actually, oh no, what? wait a second y'all because this wasn't supposed to leave any residue but it's looking like hmm, not really all right so y'all see that how is this like that that is insane to me so um i don't even know look at that that is insane so i was scrubbing this just a little bit but i don't even know how you would clean it like how how do you clean a couch like how did it's driving me insane like the couch is fine but this ottoman was so dirty there was even like a really dark spot on top i don't even know if you can see that I probably need to go over it again but there was like a dark spot like they accidentally put something on it and it kind of scraped and had a really dark mark on it so but yeah it was right here and it's still kind of dark right there look at that so um yeah i've been trying to scrub this i went to walmart to buy something to actually clean the couch specifically but Mm, I didn't really find I didn't really find anything and I guess this is as good as it's gonna get but I am gonna scrub it a little bit later other than that um I'm so weak I just stood up too fast um other than that I got my tv over here with the tv stand so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to go in the other living room area and um kind of go through my stuff because there's a pair of shoes that Trey bought me that I do not see in there so that's gonna make me very unhappy if it's not there um y'all I am so lightheaded I'm dizzy but yeah this is all the rest of my thing All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up for tonight. I am done unpacking. And I'm gonna tell y'all, I am so glad. I am so glad I would not be making any more military moves because every single time, and I'm telling you, without fail, without fail, every single time they move my stuff, they either break something or they lose something. <sighs> so far, um, they've lost the base to my TV and um, both my TV. So the small little 32 inch as well as my 70 inch, 75 inch TV. So I don't have the base or the remotes to either TV. Not sure how I'm supposed to use it. So right now it's like over here just sitting up against the wall. I don't know how safe that is maybe i should put it like down but that's how they left it so that's kind of how i did it and this over here is the tv stand just sitting up too and then my other small tv is you can't see it actually yes you can it's like right there in the corner so yeah i guess i won't be i guess i won't be using my tv right now either and sorry for this appearance y'all i had to take my freaking hair down and it's still wet actually hold on it's still wet from um, the Eco Styler that I put in earlier. And I put a crap ton in there earlier too. Actually, I'll use this one. Um, 
what is on the agenda for tomorrow though so tomorrow i actually go to work and i'm i don't know y'all so i made this matcha latte on ice and i have these little strawberry ice creams that i like to put into it but i think i need to put another one in there because i'm not tasting the strawberry like i usually do but it's just coconut milk um the matcha it's oat it's a oat a creamy oat milk regular oat milk with the matcha and the strawberry ice cream thing here we go i'm tasting the strawberry i'm outside in the AG, right outside That's pretty much where I want to have it and it looks pretty good but it's making noise so now the next step oh geez hold on I'm hold up this camera so now the next step is to see if this remote works so let's check it out I got this off of Amazon I like I just typed in LG TV remotes and this is literally I want to say this is exactly what my remote looked like. I just feel like I didn't have an Amazon button on there. But, let's see. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. I, these batteries just reminded me that I'm supposed to be buying batteries that I didn't buy yet. what's happening here oh batteries are in oh it works <gasps> thank god that's crazy that works so fast i mean i know it says universal but i was expecting to have to do like some programming look at sam get down i don't know how stable that tv is get get down get down he was playing with the little loading button. Wait a second. Let me see. Let's see if she does it again. <laughs> She's so silly. Is it a toy? I feel like I feel like the TV is too far this way. I kind of want to push it over that way. Get, get down. I kind of want to push it over that way. Or maybe it's just where I'm sitting. Is that uneven to y'all? I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyeballs. All right, y'all. So that's done. I honestly been doing this since I got off. I got off around, honestly, I got off like around three-ish. I was running around just a little bit because I've been trying to figure some things out. And, um... I took a nap in a car for like a good hour and then I got here around 1800. Y'all, it is now 20. Look at this. So I put some new photos. Can y'all even see that? Hold on. I put some new photos of me and Trey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're going crazy in the group chat. 
Wait a second. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Yeah, they driving me crazy. All right, y'all just gonna have to read our messages. So moi, us, me, How cute, guys. I love this day when we went to Houston. We've been going to Houston a lot. We might move to Houston. Hold on, let me see if I can find my favorite photo of us in here. Cause it's a lot. <laughs> uh, This one, this is my favorite one. I love it. Okay, but that's enough for it. I'm about to go ahead and connect my TV to the Wi-Fi, grab some wine, and finish cleaning. Peace.